Hello everyone, I got a special video review for you guys today. This is the Super Robot Chogokin Dai Zhujin, aka the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Megazord, or as the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 2010 toy line called it, the Dino Megazord, but I just like to call it the Megazord. Um, so I'm going to be referring to this as the Megazord since I grew up with Power Rangers, So, but for Sentai fans, this is the Dai Zhujin from uh, Zoo Ranger. Um, so yeah, so that's the figure, but let's take a look at the box first. Um, so I ordered this from Amazon directly, and so this is the box that it came in. And, um, it's the exact same box that you get from the Japanese release, except for two small little differences. Uh, the first being, it says Megazord there, right under Super Robot Chogokin, and, um, it's like a little sticker, it's kind of... Hard to see, but if you look up close, like right here, you can see it's a sticker that they added on. Um, and then the second part is uh, down here, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers logo. Um, celebrating the 20th anniversary, and as you can see, that's a sticker as well. But this is the packaging, and uh, it looks great. Looks pretty awesome. Uh, the top shows the Megazord like that. Bottom shows it in color. Um, the side just has a bunch of warnings and stuff in Japanese. Uh, the other side has a cool little shot of the Megazord there. And then the back has got plenty of uh, cool looking stuff there. Lots of different poses and things for this figure. And you can see it down there as well. So a really sweet looking box. And um, yeah. Ordered from Amazon for like around $55, um, and it came with this packaging, the, the Mighty Morphin packaging, so pretty sweet. But on to the figure, oh, actually, real quick, um, also came with some nice instructions as well for those that need it, um, and they are in Japanese, but the pictures are all you really need, kind of showing the different art articulation and all the different poses and things you can do, which I'll show you guys in the review anyways. Um, but for those that don't know, the Super Robot Chogokin line is similar to... The uh, SH Figure Arts line, so I have, um, oops, he dropped his sword there, but anyways, I have uh, the Figure Arts Shinken Red right there, and um, Gokai Red over here, um, got Shinken Red from Toys R Us, and then Gokai Red was too awesome, I had to get him as well. Um, so these are not really toys, they're more models and figures for collectors, basically, very detailed, uh, come with various accessories, and you can kind of pose them and display them. So we'll take them away. And now let's focus on the uh, the important stuff. So this is the Megazord itself. Um, and uh, let's take a close up, up close look at this thing. It's basically made from, um, I believe, die cast metal or something. It, it's very, uh, it's got a nice weight to it. Um, it's not, it's not that light. Um, but the head does move around 360 degrees and moves up and down and left and right and all around. Um, so yeah, so that's the head. Um, what you also get is you can kind of lift him up like this. And uh, this allows you to sort of tilt him a little bit up and down and that kind of thing. So that way you can get a bit more posability out of it. But this is more show accurate. And then you have the uh, arms as well, which rotate around 360 degrees, make a weird squeaking noise, but um, yeah, the shoulders can go all the way down like that as well. Um, then you can also bend sort of like a double joint there in a way. And the hands also go like that. So you really have a lot of posability there. You can also rotate around 360 degrees and everything. And the hands themselves also rotate around 360 degrees because they're on a ball joint. And, um, yeah, so lots of posability there with the arms. Um, oh, on the back as well. Um, actually, let's just take a nice little look at the back there. Looks pretty sweet. And uh, the cannons can actually lift out and up like so. So you can kind of pose them like that, which looks pretty sweet. Um, the legs, they don't move forward or back right here, but these flaps do move. Oh, actually, it kind of does move a little forward. Never mind. It moves a little bit. 
Um, you just kind of have to move these flaps up and down. These side flaps move a little bit. Uh, the back doesn't, but basically as far as the knees go, you can bend it here and then further this part of the Triceratops, for example, extends a little bit more. Um, then right around here you can have a not quite full 360 degrees because this kind of hits that there, it doesn't rotate around um, as much. And uh, what else can you do? Oh, this, this part of the Triceratops also lifts forward slightly like that. So that's the articulation there as far as the saber tooth tiger goes. You can, oops, um, bend it back this much and like that. This thing itself doesn't rotate left and right as much, but it does move up and down and kind of side to side. You can sort of tilt it quite a bit. Same with the Triceratops, you can tilt it. And this part also moves down. So again, lots of posability with this uh, figure there, which is pretty sweet. Um, and just to kind of get a look at this thing, I mean, it looks very nice. Um, quick little comparison here. I have the uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 2010 Megazord. And, I mean, just look at this thing. This thing just looks so bland compared to this. Now, of course, the primary feature of this is it can combine and do all sorts of stuff, and this is more of a toy, whereas this is a figure simply for display purposes and modeling and that kind of thing. Um, so different purposes, of course, but you can just definitely see in comparison there in terms of the look. This looks so much better. Get another up-close look here. How shiny and everything this thing is. I mean, look at that. The paint and everything on the um, saber tooth tiger and Triceratops. I mean, it's just, it's beautiful. Just brings back so many, so many memories of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers as well. Um, now, what does this thing come with? So it comes with a couple different things. Um, so first of all, the hands that it has right here are kind of just fists. Um, so there's nothing really special about those ones. But it comes with uh, two little holding hands basically. So fists, but you can kind of hold the sword and shield in those. Um, and then it comes with two open hands, like so. Then it also comes with the Mastodon shield, and he kind of holds it like that. So I'll put that on in just a second, and we'll see what that looks like. And his sword, which is very nice and shiny. Really cool looking. It's actually kind of sharp at the tip too. Very nice. Very, I definitely like that sword. Um, you also get this cool little effect part uh, which goes onto the sword like so. So it's like his sword is being powered up or something. Looks pretty sweet. Um, yeah. And last but not least you have this sort of electric blast thingy. Um, this kind of does come apart um, but We'll show this one first. So basically what you do with this is you kind of, it's hard to see on camera a little bit, or maybe not. Actually, you can kind of pick that up. So there's a little hole right there, and that sticks into the, uh, the head like so. And, uh, oops. And just get this thing on properly. It's like a nice little lightning blast, so he's kind of firing something. So that looks pretty sweet. So there's that. But uh, anyways, I'm going to switch out the hands right now. So let's kind of take those off. And they're pretty easy to kind of get on and off, and so that's that's nice. But they don't come off easily either, which is also nice. Well, actually, that doesn't make sense. What I mean is they don't fall off easily. You can take them on and off easily, but they're not just going to randomly fall off. Here. If I can just get that one. There we go. Okay. So what you can do now is let's grab the shield. And this one, the shield can be a little hard to get on because it's kind of a bit of a snug fit. But I'll try and slide it on. Okay. And the sword. 
All right, so look at that thing, man. That's just awesomeness right there. That's just pretty sweet. Um, so yeah, you can just kind of have fun posing this thing and putting on effects parts and everything. Um, so we'll kind of do a little pose like so. It's powered up and ready for battle. You don't want to mess with this guy. So yeah, that is the um, the Megazord, the Super Robot Chogokin Daijujin. Uh, I got this off Amazon for $55, and um, to me, I, I haven't really, I mean, I've briefly looked at some of the other uh, Chogokin line figures and stuff, and they look kind of cool. This is probably the only one that I'm going to get, at least for now. Maybe I'll look at some of the others. But this one, if you grew up with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and you're looking for a nice little model or something to display, this is fantastic. Um, $55 Amazon Prime eligible, um, and yeah, it's pretty sweet, so I definitely recommend this, and, uh, it looks cool, it feels nice, it's, it's awesome, so check that out, and post any questions or comments or anything below, and I will get back to you on that, hope you guys enjoyed, go, go Power Rangers!